Hello, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. Today we'll be taking a look at how to set up a resource pack on your server. Setting up a resource pack on your server is essentially whenever a player joins your server, they'll be given an option to download the resource pack and use it whenever they log in. As you can see, we've logged into the server panel, and the first thing we'll do is click on FTP file access. And from here, we'll gather our details and enter them into an FTP client. Um, today, I'll be using FileZilla. Once you've entered in your details, you can click Quick Connect. Um, I'm gonna choose Do Not Save Password, click OK. And we're also going to uh, click OK to trust the certificate. And now we'll be presented with all of our server's files. The next thing we're gonna do is head on over to dropbox.com or another file hosting platform that will provide you with a direct download link for your resource pack. If you don't have Dropbox, you'll need to go ahead and uh, sign up and create an account. But since I already have an account, I'm going to click sign in. And once you're logged into Dropbox, we're essentially going to drag and drop the resource pack that we want into Dropbox. So we can take this uh, resource pack on our desktop and move this into um, Dropbox. So we'll go ahead and click upload. Once the file has been uploaded, we'll go ahead and click the share button and we're going to copy the link. If you don't have this option, you'll need to generate a link. So we'll go ahead and click copy. And then we'll go ahead and open up a new tab and just click paste. And we need to change this zero to a one. Um, so it'll be DL equals one instead of zero. And what essentially this means is whenever somebody goes to this link specifically, instead of giving them the option to download the file, they will automatically download the file. So once we have the link generated, we'll actually need to go to a website that will generate a um, hash for us. And this uh, website will be linked in the description of this video. And here we'll need to actually upload the resource pack we have. So we'll click drop file here, select our resource pack, click open, and this will generate a hash. So we'll go ahead and copy this and we'll need to save this hash um, for our server.properties file. Um, but in the meantime, we'll go ahead and minimize this tab, pull up FileZilla, and we're going to click view and edit on the server.properties file. Click OK. And we'll need to go ahead and find the section in this file that says resource pack SHA1 equals. And we'll go ahead and simply just uh, paste in the hash that we've just generated. We'll go back to our browser and go ahead and get that link. And now we'll need to go ahead and find the resource dash pack equals. And we'll simply paste in the uh, link to the Dropbox, making sure that DL equals one um, in order for it to direct download. And once we have the hash and the download link for the resource pack, we can simply save the file, X out of this and click yes to um, upload the changes. And from here, we'll just need to go back to our server, um, back to the main page and click restart in order to apply the change to our server. Okay, so once the server is online, we'll actually go ahead and jump into Minecraft and join our server to ensure that the uh, changes we've made for the resource pack is working and that the resource pack is enabled. Okay, so we've jumped into Minecraft. I've pasted in our IP address for our server. We'll click join server. And it's going to go ahead and prompt us that the server recommends the use of a custom resource pack. Would you like to download it and install it automatically? We'll go ahead and click yes and give it a few minutes. Um, this will kind of depend on how fast um, your client downloads the actual resource pack. As you can see, mine has gone ahead and done that right now. And as you can see, the resource pack has now been added in and uh, we are currently using it. That's gonna wrap it up for this tutorial. If you have any questions regarding anything we've covered in this video, feel free to join the Publos Discord and we'd be more than happy to help you there.